Hello there, I'm Sir Classy, and you're welcome to another tutorial on SC Toots. And in this tutorial, you're going to learn how to make Mumbaton Latino type beats. Hit the subscribe button and let's get started. Alright, so we're going to start with building our drums. We already have our tempo, our tempo set at um 98 bpm it was previously 99 my mouse mistakenly shifted it but we can still work with 98 bpm oh let's just go to let's make it even let's make it 99 gonna work with 99 bpm so here we have our kick we have our snare another snare we're going to need a lot of snares actually here is a hi-hat percussions and this is a drum loop or rather a percussion loop from unison latino drum loop from unison all right so let's start with building our drums first or rather our snare let's start with the snare and the kick and the snare come to the pattern mode right here Alright, so now we're going to add, we're going to actually extend this, it should be longer than this. And we're going to do that. This is the, um, one of the most common drum patterns in Mumbaton. Alright, so we'll come to the piano row here, I'm going to do some tricks. are going to come select it come here go to tools chop so reduce this a little yes then we take it here and then Then we do something similar here again. We'll extend the drum loop and then we'll go to tools, chop. Then adjust the levels all right and then we layer this then we have our hi hats coming in And you can also layer the high hats as well. And then We can layer, although we may not use all of this and we can still change this along the line, but I'm just trying to build a very simple drum pattern. Let's come here.
then we're going to use our loops now that that is quite loud so reduce it and then we have let's bring it down here then we have our drum come to song mode Alright, so this is a very popular Latino drum, um, um, Mumbato Latino drum pattern. So next, we're going to build the melodies. For our first melody, we're going to be using um, Cog Triton, this xylophone preset. So let's create another pattern for it, and then we'll get on with our melody. Then we can make changes in Intel Studios piano roll. All right, so click this Control Q. Let's see. I think that is better. Let's take you up here. All right. So we we'll double that. So now we're going to build the chords. I'm going to use um, the Cog Triton Acoustic Piano Presets. All right. So let's create something. We're going to need to double this and you see the reason shortly. So so we we'll have to extend this. Take this out. Since the piano will just extend it, the sustain won't interfere with the other sounds that are coming. come here so what we're going to do we're going to add these bass notes and those bass notes are simply these lower notes here copy them select them hold your control and shift then use your control and arrow key down to bring them down Hear that sounds all right so let's add another melody so the next melody we're going to add is called an arp so it's um, from hive 2 so we're going to create another part but we'll take out this melody just that melody then we'll create a new pattern And we have it here. So let's play that in and see how it sounds like. As simple as that. I think with apps, you have to make sure that the timing is perfect. So we'll reduce this.
or you can make it all the way. Let's take it longer. I think we should just make it long completely. All right, let's listen. So this is going to help us build up for the drop that is coming. Can adjust the volume. Then we're going to add another chord progression to support the existing progression, just to layer it. So we're going to use Triton. We could have just cloned it, but oh well. Let's check out piano. All right, so let's record that in. Come right here. Hit record. Make sure everything aligns properly. Then we'll double it up. So for the drop, we're going to use Serum from um, a vocal pack from a Cymatics vocal for Serum 2. And I'm using Heart So Good. And this is how it sounds. So we'll create a pattern. And we'll record this. So we'll quantize, control Q, make sure everything is within the space. Then let's listen again. So we have that, and then now we're going to build our base. So we're going to clone Hive. Hive has a nice 808 base. It's already in my presets. So 808. Let's see. Let's close this user. Let's close all of this. Yes, so here it is. So we're going to create 
baseline for this. So let's listen first. Let's turn the levels up. We can adjust it when we're done. So let's just record something, we'll fix it along the way. Fix this it so it's our base. Come here, control Q. Then we listen. Basically, just double with this. So that's for our base, and now let's structure it out. We'll take this, give it some space as usual. We'll bring out the chords. Then just the kick and the melody. Then we double this. Piano. Then we're going to go into the chorus now. I think we're going to add pads here. We need to add pads. Let's add pads. So we'll come to Triton. We'll clone this for our pads. Favorites. 
Um, let's see. That's how it sounds. Sounds good. Now we'll save this project before we continue. All right, so let's create a new pattern. This um, pad has very large sustain, so when we, when we quantize it, we don't need to stretch it out, keep it as short as possible. Then we we'll create all of this. The drop will actually come here. That's where the drop would be. So I get to bring in some more elements here. I'll take this out. I'll bring this in here. Select just these two, bring it right here. So now we'll create the second verse. Select this. My PC is lagging a bit. Don't know why. So so what, what we're going to do here, we're going to create something interesting. We're going to make you let's se select it. We're going to make unique. Clone this. Open it up, take out the kick. This is the second verse. Now let's make the outro. Let's take some inspiration from here for the outro. Then we'll listen.
Okay, I think the bits can end that way. The bits can end that way. So this is basically, this is a decent structure, two verses, two chorus, an intro and an outro. You can even make it three chorus if you want. Maybe you can make a bridge here, then you can make the third chorus coming or the third verse coming. All right. So if this tutorial helps you, don't forget you can get this project file in our resource section on our community tab. Just click the link below. You can join us in our community. Lots of project files, lots of sample packs, kits, loops. So many things are going on in our comment on our community section. You can always join us. And yeah, so don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I remember Sir Classy. This is SC Toots. Cheers.